Hello and welcome to this map viz tutorial. Discover the art of creating stunning map visualizations using Verona Fracture and Cinema 4D effectors. Let's dive in and learn together. Let's take a moment and understand the concept of the Verona Fracture and how we can use it in our daily motion graphic process. For this, we just select a, a cube here and then we come here and we select Verona Fracture and only we need just drag it here as a children of Verona Fracture. And when you see here, it created for us quickly a kind of a colorful shattering to show how it will look like on, uh, on your object. I will not go all details of it. You can find uh, much, much deeper and better tutorials about Verona Fractures on YouTube and try to stay focused on the data visualization part and we learn what we need to use for our map visualizations. Here we have the objects and here colorizing and he will show you can activate and deactivate it and if deactivate it with N, G, N, B and you can see the segments clearly. You can also keep the colors and what is also for us important is offset fragment can show you how look like the fragments of the objects and also the source here is uh, making the distribution of the source and showing it to us and here you can play with the number of amount of the points and make the seed random or distribution type for example normal and you can play with the, these options and also you can use some dynamic to it for example if we have a floor here and just add a floor and here right click bullet tag and a collider body and also here right click bullet tag and rigid body and just click and play and see created for us like a shattering and destroying the object but we don't want to shatter or we don't want to use let's delete and we don't want to use it as a shattering we want to use it how we can develop uh, to use it for our data visualization. We just in point generator distribution, we delete this. We want it to have another distribution, just be equally all of this distributed. If we add here segments 20 and 20, let's say we want it to be all of the surface pixelated and we just animate and move all of them and have control on the movement, like a kind of more graphing the objects and covering the surface with the, if you use MoGraph, well, we don't use any MoGraph because here we just uh, wanted the object itself created for us a different cubic shapes and have control on the position and scale of it. For this, we just, in the source, we just drag the cube here and automatically create for us the another surface shape and you see all of these colorful shows that they will be breaking with the with the selecting the cube, you can here creation method, you can change it to edge, for example, and to the polygon center and will create for you different type of distribution. If we put also here 20 and you see all of the surface now is equally perfectly. If I turn off fracture and just hold the cube, you see here we have the segments and now we have control on every polygon on movement positioning and give the all of here effectors that we have here and we can use all of these effectors to control the position and scale of all of the surface and let's start with the plane effector and if you select the fracture here we have also here as i said what is important for us and our focus is object source and also now we wanted effectors and here in effectors we just drag if you select a, a plane effector and you see we can drag it here or turn it off and on and if we select the plane effector here we have parameters in position is activated and you can control the position on x y and z and we only need to add a field here you can start with the spherical field and quickly you see it created for us all of the surface you have control with position and the movement and you can easily animate 
and create the shape and the form that you wanted any part of it and this is amazing because we didn't use any more graph we didn't use any uh, number of objects just we one if you turn off everything and you see we have only one cube with just number of segments and with the Verona fracture we turn it to the number of cubes and we can have control with the for example plane effector and if you turn off plane effectors you can use shader effector and if you select it in uh, effectors and drag it here let's turn off plane effector and in shader effectors in parameter let's say we want to have focus on scale minus one and if you give a shading a shader like a uh, noise and now just add a you can also control the shading here with the control the every segment with just playing with the contrast brightness you can animate it you can create a lot of beautiful visuals with simple technique that we don't need to use a lot of objects for example in MoGraph and you can change the type of noise or you can play with for example gradient and create beautiful visuals just with simple technique of adding like playing with the type of the gradient and also you can control with the field and you can have also control on the surface which part of it have this effect you can also try this with the text for example if we have a text here and you want to reveal your text all easily you can come here and select fracture and drag the text here and you see he randomly created a shattering or breaking it but we just again go to the source deactivate and now every text has its own color and it means we have control in every text separately and you can hear for example again adds plane effector and uh, in effect or you can parameter you can use a scale for example and unify minus one and will be gone disappear you just need to add a field here and if you add the field and move the field and you see you can you have with the position control and uh, revealing the text or you can use here an invert we don't want to see the text at the beginning and when the field is here we can see the text and we can use now for example linear field maybe we'd work with linear field better and now if you move the linear field and will help reveal all of the text like masking the text and bring it to the life let's see if we have a, if a vector map and let's see, see how it, we can use it for example if we just jump to the top view now and uh, let's activate the snap here and in here setting we can say we want to be snapped to the grid and if you just create a map of for example like we don't want to be a very precise some part of the world and this is like our map created and just here extrude it and add extrude to it if you want to see the segments with NB we can see the segments first we will use the C on the keyboard change it to the one object we just drag the on uh, other children of fracture and here we see the broken parts is created for us if you select the fracture here distribution you can remove it and if you drag the map itself but we will again also create it for us like a random but we want to see on uh, this simple file that we created with lines that we just want to have also like the feeling of all of this cube and be all same size on it but here we do not have the same size and the same cubic form or rectangular shape of the surface so we have another solution for this problem just before we drag it to the fracture we can select remesh here and drag our extrude file here and the remesh file we just select here we want to have instant mesh and also we can select the poly counts and look like Z measure is better poly count or mesh density you see in mesh density when you select is random we don't want this 
poly count is great you won't have the like all of the math will be all equal almost and same size you can play with the number of count for example 2000 again on a remesh we just click c on a keyboard we create only one object now we can drag it to fracture as a child and now we need to in source it how to distribute so we will use again our remesh here itself now only we need to add again for example this time random and in random effector we go to for example we want to keep the only y position and we put x0 and also z0 and let's put y and we only need now field scale of the size of the field you see you can create beautiful simple visualizations just a few click for your map or your here or any object that you have before we use snow 4d we need a vector file and vector map of the country or the part of the world that we want to visualize this map i found in the freepeak.com you can also check the link in description and the important thing is here we have two versions of the map one is only one part one solid map and here we have separated with the regions and this is the correct one this is the one that we should use and if you control y you can see all also we have separated and here we don't have any separation and control y again then we delete this map and we will keep this one and save it and we will use in our snow 4d we select in Snow for the file merge object and import our map. And when we import our map, we have a question, we just say OK. You see when you zoom a little bit, you see it created for us a map. But if you see here we have a little bit past spread and extrude depth, we just turn all of this to zero and zero, that everything back flat. If we create a cube here and just back, and you see compared to the size, this map is very small. We can create select our map here and make it for example 10 and 10 times bigger the scale now it's great we don't need the cube and with nb we can also see better the segments just we select here and with the click on c and now we have it as a separated objects if you can see here and you can select any part separately and you can move it and animate it we have some parts or stroke, some part we don't need, we can delete all of these parts. We just keep the feel and the surfaces. Now we have much cleaner map here. We just select all of it and right click and connect object and delete. Delete the old one, we have only one object. And we can call it Germany, it's just a map that we have here. And we now can start work with Verona Fracture. Just select it here and drag it here. And create again, if you select the Fracture, Source, Generator, create it for us. Again, randomly cut shape, which we don't need this, we don't want, just delete. And now we have all of the, all of the regions are separated, colorful, and this is great, exactly what we want. Now we have control, just we add some for example plane if you want to control the scale first let's play at minus one and now we just use a field for example sphere and you see here they are disappearing with what we can say totally different we opposite we want to invert it and if you invert the field and now you play with the size you can kind of masking and revealing all part of the map if you select the field here remapping here you can change the mode for example to step and if you move now to step create another beautifully showing and revealing the map we need now to add some thickness to our map for this we select our map and we shift c and we use again our thicken just drag it here and drag our map here and easily create it for us a thickness that we want so let's here add for example 20 and again we back again to our plane and field and playing with the size 
the size of our field and you can use this for your map or infographic visualization and animate it and create beautiful motion graphics. We will now instead of playing let's turn it off use another effector and let's say for example shader effector and in shader effector we want to use the noise. We select our fracture in effector we drag our shader here we we'll remove the plane and in shader effector if you select our shader effector in parameters we can work on position we can animate the position of the map it can also be beautifully if you use for your projects just the field and animate the field you can also animate it and you can easily highlight it and animate it with only using fracture and shader and in shader parameters we just have control on Z and also on scale if you want to play also with scales or you don't want to have any scales and also in shading you can also animate only with playing with the contrast or brightness and also the field position you can play with it you can change the shader to for example gradient and the gradient also you have another options or also we playing with gradient itself you can animate also this and you can highlight some part of the map and back to it now we still work with the USA map we have here more sections and parts that we can visualize we can colorize and we can see how we can uh, use the effectors to have control on the color of this map if you select the map and control Y you can see how beautifully it's separated this is very important and you can find this map in the link in description now let's import it in snow 4d in snow 4d we just need again go file and merge object and select our map after selecting our vector map here we will receive this information we just say okay comparing the map with the box you see it's very small it's very easy just select the US map and the high we make it for example 300 it will be almost the same size of the box now we delete the box we keep the map with NB we can see the lines and the segments here if we select the map again we just need to make all of the extrude depths and the spread zero then we have very united map and select the USA map and click on C and created for us uh, separate layers we don't need them separate we just right click and select connect object and delete we will again select Verona fracture and we put it as a children of the fracture and again you see he created for us the random fracture which we don't want we go again in a fracture in sources and select point generation and just delete it we select the fracture object and we remove colorizing because we won't see in preview how it will be colors if we want to colorize it for colorizing we can select plane effector or shader effector let's start and uh, work with the plane effector now in plane effector we just select the parameter and the y position we don't want any change we just want in a z position just a little bit change for example here minus 100 and now we need just the field we here select uh, for example a box field and you see it start a create a color and position it if you move the field you see you have control on position of the map let's add some thickness to the map because here we have only a flat map we just can here click on the map and shift C and just write thicken effect and double click and drag it here and drag the map on it for example you can put 20 maybe we can keep it 40 now let's want to colorize it and we have control on the color here we have some default color created here on a field you have here this colorful sign if you click on it and deactivate it then you see we don't have any colors and it activated again the colors back and also we have here on a field color map and you see here he created automatically just a random color here and you can change it let's say you want to change it to 
only red color and here the map the area will be red and you can change it to any color blue for example and when you move the map simply change the white to the blue one let's say it's election in USA and you want to show which part are Democrats and which part are for example Republicans with just changing the colors and easily you can highlight the areas that are for example election happening with the number and visualize it for your viewers and if you click here and select it you see you have a kind of gradient here beautifully created and here again in color map you have control on the color let's say we want to change it to for example only red and you can but moving the linear you can turn all the map from the white to the red let's say you want to show blue and the red color and for example blue area turn to the red for this we can instead of choosing color just select gradient and in gradient we have flexibility of selecting two colors for example one we can select the red color and the second one we can change it to a white color and if we move now you see slowly and blending the colors between red and blue let's say you want to show the weather for example and how this area is getting very hot and these areas are cold for example this can be a kind of visualization showing to your viewers these techniques let's say the client said I just want to see two colors red and blue and I don't want to see the smooth transition between colors here for this we just need to right click on the gradient and interpolation and just select the step and you see here also you can play with the gradient and you can also animate it or you can only move the linear fear let's say we have a very hot summer and we want to show that winter is coming and just only by animating the field you can show some red area still are very hot and some blue areas are very cold or we can use this for the election and show which areas are for example winning the election of Republican or Democrats now we want to use a random color for our map for this we just in a field area instead of box or linear we select the random field when we select the random field here is deactivated the color just click on it and when we here you can active and deactivate the colors and we can see now the colors here but the color mode is now no remap you can select the color or the gradient this color mode let's have for example color and let's select only one color let's say again we select the red with only one red color we have a different tone of the red color and this also can help you to visualize some areas or stronger some areas for example or less but by moving the random field you can only put, change the position of the map randomly and also if you just don't want to work with one color here and have more control we can select the gradient and here we have the default black and white we can load the preset for example let's select one of the colors here that we have and you see here beautifully from all of these colors here we have again created the random distribution or you can select your own color here and change it to your color and what you receive from your clients here easily by selecting and just changing the colors and you see here we create for us easily random distribution of the colors now we instead of plain effector we will use shader effector and if you select shader effector parameter you see the default is at scale we don't need the scale we just need focus on position for example the z position again we keep it minus 100 and all of the parts are repositioning we now we need just to select the fill let's again select our linear now we want to colorize it and uh, see how it will be if we change the colors if we just select the parameter here we have the color mode and we can choose off color effector custom or field color 
and these are the options that you can play with it let's for example test with the field color and here if you select the field here again we have this active and deactivated of the color that we have here and the field color here again the color mode is the color and the color is just one solid simple color that you can change it and if you move the linear you see it's created a smooth gradient of the changing colors which is also beautiful to help you to visualizing the map and if you change the colors you see easily created a gradient here in remapping you can play also with the contour mode for example step and curve and you see this curviness create this smooth transition of the color and if you change it to the step we just have the original one and the new color and if you move the field we just turn it to the position and the color without smooth between the parts let's back to the curve again now let's see if your client said we just want to have a, not a one color just a gradient and now you can easily select the gradient a preset you can select from preset again you have control here to change the color and also the linear move on animated and easily visualizing the map and changing the colors of areas and have a lot of control on it now in uh, color mode in shader in color mode we can select now custom color custom color it means you can select any colors that you want only one color and if you move the field for example animated will be just the one color that we selected in our parameter and just one color here as a custom color but another mode is here the effector color and if you select it it's nothing happening we don't have any color because it's based on the effector effect and here in uh, if you select the shader as an effector and shading here we didn't select any effects and for example we can select noise or gradient let's say we start with the noise and here the noise affect the colors and also the position let's here click again and you can again select the different type of the noise and also you can play with the contrast and the brightness and the colors we have also two colors here you can select for example red and the blue as you can see here we have a little bit different here the red and blue is different here let's back to the top and here we have the strength of the colors and if you use alpha gray red green and blue and here is changing the the color strength and now if we play with the linear you see now we can colorize it easily based on the color that we gave already to our shader here our noise and easily you can now for example reset the default and again you see we do not have any colors just let's say you want to give this time gradient and in gradient because we have only two colors black and white we have again here only black and white and here again you can play with the gradient with the type of the gradient and also load the preset for example color or you can use your own your own color here and play also with the type of the gradient so you have a lot of flexibility to art direct your map visualization with just playing with shader color for example if you select the shader effector and the parameter just select the color mode and we just play with these three color modes effector custom and field colors almost they will give you all same results you can choose one of these three that you are comfortable to work with and in shading you can also play with the shader and select for example noise and gradients and playing with the colors and the types you have a lot of flexibility to art direct your map visualization let's say now we want to render the colors because whatever we see here is only in preview if you use ctrl r we can see here we can see the colors but this is not redshift render if you already have installed redshift 
we can go here and select instead of standard and select redshift. Now if we select Ctrl R, we see the redshift render also we see the same colors. But what if, if you want to give a material, for example, let's select a standard material, just drag it on our fracture and now let's see the preview. You see all the colors gone and how you can have the colors back in Redshift. If we just double click on the standard material, we have the node editor and only you need here to search color user data and just drag it here. And in color user data, you just select the color and now turn everything to just one color. If select the color user data and here in the attribute, just preset, click and select the object color. And now we have all the color back and whatever color you choose here will be in redshift in preview also exact color that we selected here. Now let's see how we can turn our map to a pixelated map and have some cool visualization with it. As I explained at the beginning of this tutorial, we will use remesh to pixelate it. We just come here and we will select the remesh and just select the remesh here and NB. If we select the remesh here, we can change it to instant. You can select also the polygon count and give the number of polygons that you want to see here. Let's say for example, 3000. Now we just select the remesh and with C on the keyboard, we created just a simple pixelated map. Here we select the fracture and just drag it here and we remove the source. We don't need any source. And now we want it to have control not only on area, but also on pixels. So we can only drag here and all of the map is now pixelated and we can move the position or a scale of the pixels and also colorize it. Let's start with just the plane effector and you see in parameter again why we don't need. We just we want to have the minus 100 here on the position and all of the map is changing to position. We won't have now a field. We can use any field. For example, we can use a box field. Let's select the fracture and object. We don't want to see the colors. And in plane effector, you see here is already colorized. It. And if you move it, you see all of the pixels are moving. Let's make the size a little bit smaller that we are more focused. And also we can give some uh, thickness. Shift C here. Again, we can give the thicken effect and just drag it here. And let's say, for example, we can select like 50. Now we have a beautiful visualization for our map, which is pixelated. We have control with the scale of the field and the position of it. If we use a box field or any other field here in the plane effector and just if we move it here, we have a small problem. We want to be, for example, focus on texts and using the box field or another field, for example, like a linear, make it a little bit difficult to stay focused on the specific area. So for this, we delete all of this field that we have here and we will import our old map here. Let's deactivate the pixelate map and we can see better the our original map and we want to show and be focused only on Texas area. For this, we just select here and selection, we click and right click and we just select the spill it and create it for us just Texas and we call it Texas and we remove all the map. We have now a separated Texas. Now we again activate everything on pixelated map back. And in plane effector, if we just go and field, we need a field here. And for this, we just drag our texels here as a field. And you see, we stay fully focused on only texels area. And this is great. Now we have much more control. And if you select here the texels, and in the mode, you can select the surface, volume, and we are staying for now on the surface because we want to affect the surface of area. The radius, you can even easily animate it. And this can be also a technique that you can use for your map visualizations. 
when we select text loss and mode surface in a restrict effect if we choose inside we we'll look like nothing is happening just working on outside let's again hide the map and the reason is because we have only surface but without any thickness we just select the map and shift c and here we select again our thicken effect just drag it here let's give some for example 20 and now is enough just select again and with c we turn it to one object so we back again to our fracture and on plane effector this is the old one we just remove it and just import the new one with the thickness again created for us or default if we select the text so since the mode is on point let's go on surface and now it's more beautiful we can see the border and also the surface and if you play with the restrict effect here we have now an inside we will stay only inside of the map and whatever happens is just stay in the map and this is amazing technique that you can use for your math visualization if your client for example asks, we just want to be focused on some specific part of the map and you can play with the outside if you have control you just go outside of the area it means like a kind of inverting you can also try a volume and curvature and play with it and see what kind of results work for you the best for example with curvature you can have another beautiful visualizations and you can only play with it and see what is the best working for you now let's say how we can colorize our field here and our selected map just uh, on the plane effector we select the parameter and in parameter we have color mode we have field and custom color and in custom color you can select any colors that you want to see on your map or in the field color if you choose the field color we will go in field area and here we have layer remapping and color remapping and the color that is here selected will be selected as a, our main color for visualizations you can also select the gradient color and you can load the preset you can add your own color easily you can select any colors here and if you back to the text us here in remapping also you can play with the contour for example step and you can add step to it this also can be different kind of this color distribution and if we back to the layer and with the radius because we are only staying the inside of the map you see easily we just with playing with radius and the color remap with the color remap and color field and the layer and the play with the radius and animating you can create beautiful map visualizations and if you stay inside and just outside just kind of inverting and now we can say for example this is our map and we want from here the changes happen and easily animating and affecting all the map only using plane effector and field and in effector parameters just color mode we select field color and in the fields here we have layer option and color remap and the color we just select gradient and in layer we are here have the effects that we want to have inside or the outside and also playing with the radius you can create beautiful map visualizations let's say you also want to in parameter you can deactivate the position and only play for example with the scale and let's say minus one and in the field we can also here add an invert let's hide our Texas map here and in parameter deformers field and if you select the Texas and here we can animate the radius also and we just simply with animating the radius you can bring your map to the life with the colors with just animating and activating the scale and finally we want to add instead of the plane effector we want to play with the shader effector and if we select our 
Verona structure and effector, we just drag our shader here. And if we select the shader, we don't want to change the scale, we just focus on position. And Z, for example, we stay minus 50 to camera direction. And now we just need a shading. And here, the shader, we can add, for example, noise or gradient. Let's start with our favorite noise. And you see a kind of randomizing all of the map. And we want to stay focused on a specific area. We want to be here in this Texas area. And we have already created the separated map. So we just select the shader and the fill and drag here. And beautifully created the random position simply with just noise effect. And now we only need to colorize it. For colorizing, we just go parameter. Again, in color mode, we want to say, instead of effect or color, we just select custom color. In custom, you can again select your own, just one color. If you play with the noise, you can see the position and the color will change because we'll be a little bit stronger here, a little bit we have less stronger color you can play with the brightness also you can change the noise type you have a lot of possibilities to play with it now let's say we want to just change the custom color to field color and now we select the field and in Texas and see here you can activate and deactivate it and the field color here is color remap is only just the color one green. We can select again our gradient and load, for example, our color for gradient here. You can select your own color. If we select our field and in layer, just surface, you can again play easily with the radius and you see beautifully is visualizing the positioning and the color this can be like data visualization on your map, can be map visualization. You want to show the number of, uh, for example, people are living here or the weather visualizations. So you can play with the radius and also with restrict effect. Again, you can select only stay inside the map. And now in remapping, you can also play with the contour mode. For example, stay on step. So the colors will be also even stronger. And let's back to layer and see how everything will be changed. You see it's kind of like hard cut between the positioning and this smooth movement and the motion of the position we don't have. So we can back again here and change it to curve. And let's back again to parameter and we selected custom color and field color. And in shading, we go on shader and select noise and gradient. And with the noise, we can now select this time a gradient shader. And if you play with the gradient type, also you will have different kind of the distribution of the information on your map. This can be infographic and even we can back again on a field area and select the layer and again play with the radius and animated or outside and again animated and we again can play with the type of the gradient that we have here for example playing with the turbulence create a little bit more randomness and also animating the gradient itself you have a lot of options to control how to animate your map visualization. Now we will use MoGraph to create this map. For this we just bring a cube object here, make it size 5 and 5 and hold the Alt and click on MoGraph. Now we have here, if you select an object, the mode is grid. We can select the object and drag our map here as an object. And in distribution, if we select the distribution, here we are surface. We can select, for example, vertex or polygon center. Polygon center works the best because you can use this, for example, to put the number here and other information that you need. But to fully cover the surface, we need another way to create it. So we will back again to our grid. Let's hide the map. And the grid will add 
the count number here 20 and 20 and the size we make also 20 and 20. Now we'll back again the map. It's almost the same, the surface and the size of the more graph. So here we just need now add a plane effector to our more graph. Let's click here and plane effector and in more graph effector here we have plane effector. If we select plane effector and parameter we have position, we don't need, we just need to scale it to minus one and when we go to the field here we just need to add a field here but instead of these fields that we have we will use our us map as a field and now we need to hide it here you see something on the surface happen but it's not exactly perfectly as what we wanted only we need to select us map here and the mode and change it from point to surface and here you can play with the radius and to bring the map and the boxes we just need to invert it and now we created our map to make it perfectly match with the map we just bring back again and we add number of the counts that we have here for example 50 and 50 and also you can play with the size 15 and 15 or 10 and 10 you can auto direct it as you wish and now we just need to hide the map and you see here we created the map with all distributed equally boxes. If you select plane effector fields, you can also here play with the radius and or direct it as you want. Let's say we stay with the 20 and now we have control on the boxes. If you want to scale it, we will select cloner and we will add another planer. We will call this planer scale. And if you selected here effector parameters, in parameter we have position with the activate and scale again. This time we will not select uniform because we want only in Y we scale it, in Y direction. So we will put here 20 and we only need to add here now a field. We can use any field that we have here, for example a spherical field. And now we have control on the scale of it, you can make the size smaller and you can beautifully visualize your map. Here we have another part at the bottom of the cubes also scale but we don't want this if you want to solve this problem it's very easy if you select the cloner here just drag it out let's zoom on our cube and you see it's at the center the axis so let's change the position just C at the keyboard now we just need to change the axis center to the bottom for this we just need to select here and uh, select the bottom of the surface of the box and with shift C you can write axis center and just double click and here action axis to center selected polygon because we have here a polygon selected and then execute now if you back again now the axis point is at the bottom of the box and if you select the cube and scale it, it will be from the bottom and this is exactly what we wanted now again we put it back on cloner is now perfectly everything working we just now need to play with the spherical field and move it and animate it and or direct it as you wish thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with exciting tutorials. Keep creating and stay inspired.